All right, guys. So, what's up? What's up? What's up? You back with Hadia K, K dropping gems. This is Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, um, second, fifth house for money and finance. This is your money and finance reading for July. Um, my phone cut off, so I have to do a part two. All right. So, Capricorns, like I said, there's a relationship that may not be working. Okay, this can be um, someone that you may have just met or this can be like a new relationship. This can be someone that you may have. Um, like I said, you guys, it's a new relationship. You guys are just getting to know each other, but it's not seeing eye to eye. It's not balanced and this might be messing up your money or this relationship can be a catalyst on how you make your money. Okay, I do feel um, I do see the Capricorn energy, Leo energy in here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay strongly so in your career and finances i definitely feel like there's a need for you guys to speak your truth or stand up for yourself there's also there's also like i'm getting like you guys are rushing towards something and just be mindful because this might be some type of deception okay maybe you're trying to get over on someone or there's some type of change when it comes to your finances because of this either this contract that you shut this contract that you signed or something that you're going into okay i feel like someone's also trying to get over on you this may have happened twice this can also be like a loss of money as well or someone trying to like get over on you like i'm just getting some type of shisty situation two or three different people could be a libra gemini aquarius a libra capricorn Virgo, Taurus as well i do see that you're needing to <clears throat> stand up Stand up for what you believe in. You also are looking at longevity, which you feel like you value, okay? Your legacy. You're unhappy at this time. You could be unhappy with your foundation that you created. You could be a single mother, a single father as well. But you're just trying to release things that are no longer serving you so you can reach to that uh, fulfillment, that stability that you need. You're also realizing that things are no longer serving you, habits, people. You're wanting, like, to let go of things is what I'm hearing, okay? Because you do see that there's deception, seven of swords. This can also be the same situation happening again, or this can be, like, uh, gossip okay some of you guys can be in a, a work a field of work where there's gossip around you or you could be gossiping about gossiping about someone else because of the situation or something that may have happened to you you might be gossiping about that or talking about that or this is um someone coming towards you with this if that's not the situation there's definitely some um betrayal okay when it comes to either a contract a job a position okay and you're realizing that things had to end or things needed to end the way that it needs to here the world okay so you can be more content this can also be so you can be more um open receptive to things because i feel like some of you guys could be blocked off or this can be like your ideas some of you guys may have felt like your ideas were blocked off here but i do see that this is also because whatever you were going into is whatever you were going into with whether this is a person two people three people it's not it's not it's not right or it's some type of deception some type of um shadiness going on with money with um stability this could also be status seven of swords i'm definitely feeling like gossip so you or someone else can be gossiping about somebody's status here maybe you're not you're not happy because you're not where you're supposed to be or someone is not happy because they're not where they're supposed to be here okay but i definitely see that you're needing to def you're needing to take some time because i feel like whatever you're con whatever you're trying to create is going to take time it's not going to happen overnight or this may be an offer that you may have denied here of a family business or something to do with family here and i feel like you don't you just you're just trying to figure out how to be more stable and secure on your own two feet you're not trying to put time energy action into things that are not going to be beneficial or not going to help you okay so i feel like when it comes to some type of contract when it comes to some type of deal okay when it comes to something to do with money and people uh watch out with that just because i do feel like there might be something or people around that might be uh praying on your downfall okay others of you i do feel like you're going through like a major healing and you're having to look at things from from a different perspective here these things had to happen so that you could be more emotionally secure or you could take matters you can take matters into uh taking the time to reflect okay to reflect to figure out what's going to be more content what's going to be more peaceful what's going to make you happy what's going to make you feel more emotionally fulfilled what type of field of work is going to be more emotionally fulfilling for you as well it's also what i'm hearing so that is an amazing read guys all right Let's see the angel messages for my cappies. You and your boo. All right. Thank you, Spirit, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. What's going on? What is the overall messages for Capricorn and love and career? Thank you, Spirit. What messages do they need to know? Okay, I'm going to take these. 
Okay, so I have the A of Ariel. Take great pride in excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. So this is definitely you guys are wanting to study. This can also be you going into um, school to strengthening your your craft. This can also be you wanting to go into school or taking up some type of program or extra training so that you could be more um, satisfied as well. Okay, so the two of Ariel is important to have balance. Working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. So you're balancing your learning to balance, learning structure, learning how to um, create things that's going to be more significant for you. But at the same time, if there is a lot of things that is on your plate, you're miraculously doing things gracefully here. Okay, the three of Raphael, reasons to celebrate celebrate a community of friends happy announcements regarding relationships or children so you guys can be healing your inner child at this time taking the time out to heal self this can also be you can be rekindling friendships with people from the past this can be people um new friends coming towards you this can be you opening up your heart um during the celebrations like this is um the like over the holidays this can also be like a birthday party a graduation this can be a baby shower this can also be um a a lounge or like someone wanting to take you out a grand opening of something this can also say that you guys are needing to strengthen a lot of what you whatever you're wanting to do whatever field of work you're needing to go or you're wanting to go into it's it's time maybe if you guys weren't thinking about school maybe this is saying that you guys may need to think about school to kind of strengthen your um your knowledge in something okay is also what i'm getting all right guys peace love and light ashe i love you like i love myself